there's a lot of rocks and debris in the solar system, kind of like those few spare pieces of Lego you have left over after you complete an epic build. Earth itself is hit by around 8,000 mostly small meteorites every year, and the rate of impacts on other planets and moons is probably similar relative to their size. The gas giant planets represent a unique challenge in observing such impacts because the evidence of an impact is quickly swallowed up by the layers of gas and leaves no mark like a crater on the surface of the planet that's visible to us. Jupiter was famously hit by comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 in 1994, and that event generated worldwide interest and observations as we tried to learn as much as possible about the layers of Jupiter's atmosphere below the surface. We've never before witnessed an impact on Jupiter's neighbor Saturn. That's maybe until the early hours of the morning on July the 5th, when astronomer Mario Rana was using his telescope and camera to make some observations of Saturn from his backyard. The process for astronomers to find potential impacts on the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn is to take a video through the telescope and then use software like the Open Source Detect project that analyzes each frame looking for flashes that might indicate an impact. As you can see in this image, Rana detected just such a flash on Saturn between 0900 and 0915 Universal Time on July 5th. If confirmed, this would be the first impact on Saturn captured in an image. Confirmation is always tricky though, and astronomers are asking anyone that was observing Saturn at that time on July the 5th to look at their data and see if they also detected the flash. So far, no luck, but hopefully if we spread the word, someone else might hear about the possible detection and have some useful data. We'll keep an eye on this story and let you know if anyone around the world has corroborating evidence. One thing this story does illustrate, though, is the role citizen scientists and amateur astronomers can play in the scientific process and making new discoveries. If you want to get involved in projects like this, check out the Detect Project or sites like Zooniverse that make getting involved in science super easy. I put links up on the screen and I'll include them in the description too. That's today's video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.